Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is Apostle Patrick Antoine. Welcoming you to LJHP Radio. And today I'm going to read for you the 5778 prophecy. Hallelujah. And, uh, and I'm, and I'm just going to omit uh, three paragraphs in the light of the event that you know we have a new president and it is Donald Trump. Okay. 5778 shall be the year when love and hate collide. This spiritual upheaval will transcend the spirit of faction in every area of life, in the family, in society, in government, and between many countries. The spirit of malice will team up with the spirit of mistrust to disturb the flow of harmony all over the world. You will see the battle of good versus evil in a modern day opposition to everything uplifting, decent and proper. This breakdown will flourish in a mighty way for the next decade until the hearts of men are totally consumed with violence and wickedness. Many families will witness the insubordination of children. Husbands will rise against wives children against parents, sons against fathers, daughters against mothers. The normal will yield to the abnormal. What is considered unseemly will become the norm, which will lead to the blending of the moral and the immoral. The churches shall begin to be full of hypocrites. Already, the pulpit has become worse than the pew. Apostles, prophets, bishops, Pastors, evangelists, and teachers will tell the people to obey them when they do not practice what they preach. These false priests tie up heavy loads and put them on men's shoulder, shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to lift a finger to move them. Everything the preachers do is done for men to see. They have their cameras ready to record their good deeds, but I, the Lord, will expose their wrongdoing. They love the place of honor at banquets and the most important seats. They want to be recognized like celebrities. They are braggadocious and see the believers as fans and followers, not as converts to Christianity. They lie and do all kinds of schemes to enhance their social media profiles. People will no longer respect the priesthood order. They feel if they can buy the priestly robes that they should be called as such. You are not to call anyone priest if he is not a priest. Do not call anyone rabbi for you only have one master. Do not call anyone honor father for you have one father and he is in heaven. Do not call anyone teacher. For you have one teacher, the Christ. Everyone wants to play pretend. They all portray themselves as some very important people. They have forgotten my golden rule of humility. The greatest among you will be your servant. For whoever exalts himself will be humble. And whoever humbles himself will be exalted. What do you preach? Preachers and priests, you hypocrite, my purge will continue upon all of you who have defiled my covenant of priesthood with Levi. I will humiliate, expose, and kill many of you. You shut the kingdom in men's faces. You yourself do not enter, nor will you let those who are trying to. What to you, preachers and priests, you hypocrites, you travel over land and sea to win a, sing a single convert. And when he come and he become and when he becomes one, you make him twice as much a son of hell as you are. What do you blind guys? You hypocrite, you say if anyone swears by the altar, it means nothing, but if anyone vows or swear to give, he's bound by his oath. You blind man, which is the greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred. What to you preachers and priests, you hypocrite, you force people to pay 
their tithes and offer an offering to fill your own pocket when you yourself do not pay them. Woe to you preachers and priests, you hypocrites! You clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside you are full of greed and self-indulgence. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside are full of dead men's bone and everything unclean. In the same way, on, in the same way, on the outside, on the outside, you appear to people as righteous, but on the inside, you are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. You snake, you brood of vipers. How will you escape being condemned to hell? For this reason, I will bring judgment upon this corrupt, immoral, and vile world. It will start from the churches to the street, from the priests to the people. Let them all be ready for the calamities to come. You will hear of war, rumors of war, terrorist attacks, earthquakes, tsunamis, torrential rains, hurricanes, flood, blizzard in many parts of the earth. Even in America, you will hear the call to harm. Prepare for war. Rouse the warrior. Let all the fighting men do near an attack. Beat your plowshares into sword and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the weakling say, I am, I am strong. Come quickly, all you nation from every side and assemble there. A new enemy has emerged. A new alliance must be formed for the old one is split. Because of these two powerful nations, the dance of the battlefield has begun. Each ally must lift up its own weight. From cyber attack to physical aggression, the USA will find themselves face to face with Russia in a power struggle. They will all advance in the heart of Europe, and from there, I will sit to judge the nations on every side. Get ready, you and all your hordes gathered about you get ready america you and all your hordes gathered about you and take up take command of them after many days you will be called to harm uh, this is what the sovereign lord says on that day's thoughts will come to your mind and you will devise an evil scheme you will say i will even i will even invade the countries of their alliance i will first attack the weakest of them and move to the next i will plunder and loot and turn my hands against their people. You will depart from the purpose of democracy and freedom. You will sacrifice your reputation for the display of your power. You will strengthen the hands of the opposition, which will cause you to be victimized in your own land and abroad. Hallelujah. The lesbian will hijack the, the, the women movement, which will lead to a robust homosexual agenda. The LGHP community will become politically very powerful within the next four years. They will open their forum to men who disgruntled and divorced spouses. The family structure will suffer tremendously because of this perversion. Young men and women will no longer find it appealing to get married. People will be more interested in themselves, self-worship, self-promotion, self-indulgence, self-preservation, self-protection will create a new breed of human, cold, callous, calculated, greedy, and immoral. Many calamities will befall the world. Apart from some minor weather events, the United States will have a quiet year as far as natural disasters in 5778. However, parts of the Middle East, South, Am South America, and Europe, especially Russia, will suffer earthquake. You will hear of torrential rains and flood in the Caribbean, certain areas of Africa, Pakistan, India, China, North Korea, and South Korea. An earthquake, followed by a tsunami, will bring sudden destruction to some islands nation in the Far East and the Pacific. The sound of a cry will be heard all over the world. The sound of a great des destruction. The Lord will pursue the terrorists from Iraq to Syria with the sword of vengeance. He will silence their noisy ding. Waves of, 
of enemy will rage, an army will come against them. Their warriors will be killed and captured, and their bows will be broken. For the Lord is a God of retribution. He will repay in full. He will make their leaders drunk, their officers and warriors as well. They will sleep forever and not awake. After that, the government of Syria shall be replaced, declares the Lord Almighty. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the world, to heal the sick, to pray for the afflicted, and reveal unto them the purpose of God for their lives. Surely, the Sovereign Lord does nothing without revealing His plan to His servants, the prophets. The Lords want me to give you an opportunity to be a part of his movement through Lord Jesus' house of prayer. According to Malachi 3, verse 8 to 12, you can do so by sending your tithes and offering online or to the address listed on our website. All tithes and offering are prayed over, and whatever words the Spirit will bring forth, these I will report, and the Lord promised to bless you and to open for you the floodgates of heaven. Remember, we are here for you to help you turn your house into a house of prayer. Amen and amen.